Six months ago, the Betongs came across on a light aircraft. They came from Wedge Island, which is a small South Australian island off the west coast of Innes National Park. And in August last year, we released them in two different sites in the National Park. They are very quick and elusive creatures, these betongs, so we have to employ a range of techniques. We have camera monitoring data, we have telemetry data as well, so they're all fitted with VHF tags that lets us know that they're still alive and kicking in whereabouts they are. And then we have routine trapping and monitoring so we can get our hands and eyes on the betongs a bit more closely. It's been six months since the betongs were released, so it's really important for us to conduct some health checks just to see how they're going, particularly coming out of the summertime. What we found this week was really encouraging. The body condition of the animals was really good, body weights were really good, coat condition was really good, and the most positive thing of all was the breeding success. So to have eight out of the 10 females that had pouch young, that was um, great news for the team here. The most exciting discovery has actually been to capture our very first Southern York Peninsula born betong. And what was even more exciting was the fact that that female, she herself had her own pouch young, a really tiny little jelly bean. And for eight out of the 10 females to have pouch young at this time of the year, is really encouraging for the team here. It indicates that there's lots of food and they're enjoying the new habitat here. And it means that coming into winter, there's probably gonna be a boost in breeding and the numbers can really start to grow on this population. The next steps for this reintroduction program of brush-tailed betongs is to take some more animals from Wedge Island, but also to grab some from Western Australia as well. That's going to help us to increase the genetic diversity, which will set this population in the York Peninsula up for the long term. This is on the ground conservation at its best. You know, we're bringing in multiple partners from across the community. We've got traditional owners who are heavily involved in the project and it's putting back species to where they should be. 